Hey Virgos, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to do your love, sex, and romance reading for the end of August, merging into September. Okay, so... Um, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> so let's see what's fucking going on with you guys. I'm sending you guys lots of love, sex. You get all the bomb sex in the world. Hopefully you guys are not vitamin D uh, deficient. You guys are getting that in. <laughs> Let's see. Virgos and love and sex and romance. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Especially Venus and moon signs. Always look at your Venus and moon signs when it comes to, you know, love and sex and romance. Because that's going to resonate more with you. Okay. Especially matters of like the heart and emotion and stuff like that. So, Nine of Pentacles reversed. This could mean that someone's not doing so well in, uh, in their relationship. Or maybe you're just separated from someone. Then we have the Knave of Wands reversed. Someone's lacking passion. Or someone literally cut ties with you or vice versa. Could also mean someone's not willing to get intimate with you just yet. But don't worry, we have the Ace of Pentacles here. So we have an offer coming in, right? This could be you making the offer. Or you're waiting for that offer to come in because you're just a one relationship person. And this is someone that you really want to be with, that you love. I feel like this relationship that comes in or someone that comes in to offer is going to be someone you might be staying with for a while. So after a time of not having communication or, you know, getting it on or whatever, it's going to happen. It's going to come in. Whether it's with that person that you, you know, want or a new one, that it'll be better. Some of you are not getting enough sex in either. And it's driving you fucking nuts. Hermit. Yeah, so you're not having enough sex, having time alone. You could be literally hiding from people. Seven of air reversed. This is what it looks like in the upright. It's kind of like distracting people with your looks or a, a distraction or something. But it's reversed. It's like you're getting away from the distraction. You're getting away from, or you're taking a break from, you know, the lime life, or you're just not wanting to be out there. Because you just, you just want a specific person. It's like you're longing to get away, but at the same time, you like to be alone. Six of Earth, which is the Six of Pentacles. Some of you will be getting spoiled with this person that's coming in, you know, to make an offer. Or if you're already in a committed relationship, you're getting spoiled. You like to have alone time. Maybe you haven't been out there, you know, going out with your friends or anything. You guys just been, you know, spending time alone at the house. Just spending quality time together. Because you're enjoying it. This is literally how you are right now with each other. Hermit mode with the Ace of Pentacles. And your friends are found like, where you been? I'm, ch I'm chill. I'm with my boo. I'm getting spoiled. I'm getting what I want. 
the fuck else do I want? <laughs> you know? You could have cut ties with certain people, maybe other lovers who were interested in you, and you just, like, cut them out because you're like, eh, I don't care about you. And then some of you are, you know, are not having any, no sex or, or a connection with anybody or communication. And you're missing it. You're missing the passion. Wow. King of Pentacles. This is someone who's like very stable. This could be you, Virgo, too. You know, someone who's very stable, wealthy, knows how to treat a woman or a man. Give them what they want. Like I said, this is underneath the Ace of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, and this is the King of Pentacles. So this could be a fucking good, stable relationship if you're in one. You get spoiled. You get what you want. Literally. The Emperor, someone who knows how to run their shit, get what they want, whoever they want. <clears throat> someone who's very wealthy as well, who knows how to keep money in the bank, who knows how to spoil, give you the luxury, the, the life of luxury that you want. And some of you are longing for that type of relationship is what I'm seeing here. Another thing I'm seeing is that um, someone either cut ties with you or vice versa for a different, you know, set of my Virgos. And that's why you are in hermit mode right now because you're just reflecting, taking time to yourself, maybe taking a break. Wow. The Knight of Pentacles. Someone's definitely coming in for a joy ride. In for one hell of a ride, right, Virgo? Like this person, you know, takes you for a fucking ride. Oh, you're the one doing the riding. <laughs> oh, man. Look how he's just like throwing money in the air. Some of you are strippers. <laughs> Hey, if you're a stripper, hey. <laughs> like, literally, you know how to get men with your seductive looks and all that shit. That's why we have the King of Pentacles and, you know, whatever, the Emperor. Some of you are getting it, you know, like, lit literally working a man or a woman. Look at that. The Knight and the King. What could be a, a one night stand ends up being, you know, a life partner and ends up being spoiled. <laughs> Shit. This person goes on advent. You go on adventures with this person like you're having a good time. Some of you are having a good fucking time with someone. And it's been nice. <laughs> you ain't complaining. <laughs> unrequited love there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going that's for the person that I said that you cut ties with or someone cut ties with you literally he has scissors in his hands that's for the unrequited love Some of you are also, you know, enjoying yourselves with someone. But, you know, there's not, there's no love, but you're just there to have fun and that's it. 
honeymoon. Yeah, you guys are enjoying each other. Spending quality time, enjoying. Enjoying your quiet time, especially if you've been in hermit mode with your partner. This is you in hermit mode with the Ace of Pentacles. And the Six of Pentacles. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. I feel like some of you are in hermit mode or haven't been out there dating or anything like that because of your belief system or how you were raised to believe certain things. And your love life is literally being influenced by it. How you were raised. You could be more spiritual than physical. And maybe that's why someone cut ties or, you know, it could be many things. You have a certain mindset and that's the way it goes and that's how it's going to be. No one's going to change that. Some people accept it, others don't. Then we have chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Strong one. And, that, and that's for this right here. You're drawing someone in with your, your looks or your manifestations. It's like they're being drawn and attracted to you. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past... You experience more love in your present moment. So always forgive. Forgive yourself. Past mistakes. The past is the past. It's behind you for a reason. You learn from your mistakes and you move on. Nothing you can do about it. You can't change the past. It's behind you now. New beginnings. Some of you have new beginnings. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your life and live your dreams passionately. Ooh, there's going to be, you're going to be in for one hell of a ride. I told you. Giddy up. Giddy up. Transformation. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. You're about to reach a whole nother level. Whole nother level with someone. I think Taurus got the same ones too. So if you're dealing with a Taurus, another earth sign or something. It is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone. That's what you've been doing with Hermit Mode. Instead of placing your focus on another, now is the time to give to yourself. There you go. You have, like I said, some of you are pulling back. Spending time alone. Hermit mode. You probably gave so much before and, you know, it didn't get you anywhere. Now you're just like focusing on yourself. And I feel like that will attract the right person to come in. We have balance. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. It's that equal give and take. That balance. It's very important to have balance. No tipping the scales. That's never That never works. Ever. Let there be a closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims. It simply allows and gives. That's when the Six of Pentacles comes in. Simply allows and gives. You may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, through turmoil a blessing will soon be revealed. 
<laughs> you're not going through your shit just because. There's, there's a purpose for it. A blessing will soon be revealed. Whatever you're going through. For those who are going through something. Okay. Alright Capricorn. This was your reading. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Love you guys. And I will see you in your next video. Cheers.